The NFT hype train is making its rounds again, and if you are a small artist, you just might be considering delving into the scene. You've heard or seen how much money some of these artists are making and might consider it worth getting into. You may have heard from some of them that this is the future and how it's a game changer for artists in the third world and for small artists in general. However, before you jump in, there are a few things you may want to consider. So in this video, I'm going to highlight a few points that may be a cause for concern if you may be interested in this space. So let's get right into it. The initial investment. When you want to create your first NFT, it's going to require you to buy into cryptocurrencies because at the time of creating your NFT, you will have to pay some fees and all these transactions are made in cryptocurrencies. Plus, you will have to also get a hard wallet to store it offline as leaving your currency on the exchange is risky as they are frequently targeted by hackers. A software wallet is only slightly better and is vulnerable to phishing attacks. A hardware wallet will set you back by $50 to $200 depending on the brand you opt for. Now these fees might be negligible or very high depending on which part of the world you reside in. You'll have to pay a fee to mint your NFT and also a listing fee. These prices fluctuate depending on the price of gas at the time you mint your piece and it also depends on the platform you are using because they have some fees of their own that they charge. Now when doing research for this video, the average price of gas on the Ethereum blockchain was $70, which might not be much if you live in the first world, but that's quite a lot for an artist that's residing in the third world. In some cases, that is a large chunk of their monthly income. Demand and Supply NFTs have been all the rage this year, so everyone wants a piece of the pie and as a result, everyone is trying to create NFTs left and right. And as NFTs are not limited to visual art alone, you will have to compete for attention in a very saturated market. There is more supply than demand, so even getting your work noticed is very hard. And quality doesn't seem to matter much. People have sold doodles, tweets, photos and more because your online clout matters more than the quality and every now and then we see examples of that. So having great artistic ability and quality may help you, but there isn't any guarantee of that. Additional fees. Now let's say you manage to attract the attention of a buyer and sell you super awesome artwork. The money you make from that transaction will be subject to some more fees. The platform will take their cut. So be sure to check how big a cut the platform is going to take from your sale. On top of all of this, when you decide to exchange your cryptocurrency for real-world money, you will incur some charges. So there is a lot more than meets the eye. So at the end, you might not have the kind of profit you envisioned at first. Liquidity problem. Now one of the good things about NFTs for artists is that they offer royalties. So artists continue to make money whenever their work is resold. However, artwork is not a very liquid asset. Just look at the traditional art market. There is a very high barrier for entry. Plus, if you aren't already pretty well known, chances are your work may not be all that sought after. So you may have little to no chance of earning royalties on your work. Moral Opposition Cryptocurrencies and NFTs are tied together. And if you didn't already know, cryptocurrency mining consumes gargantuan amounts of energy. Now. It is not going to single-handedly exacerbate the climate crisis, but if you are someone that is trying to actively reduce your carbon footprint, then NFTs are not going to align with your goals. Now some folk claim that crypto will get efficient once it moves to a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, but so far it has been lip service and no action. So these are some of the points I wanted to bring to your attention. Now my goal is not to dissuade, but to educate so that you may make an informed decision if and when you do choose to engage in the NFT space. I personally think that it's a bit irresponsible on the part of those that have enjoyed success in the NFT space to be claiming that this is going to be life-changing for small artists because those that succeed are the exception and not the norm. 
And with that, this brings me to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe. And if you'd like to share your thoughts on this subject, I'd be more than happy to read what you have to say.